Hey guys, welcome back to The Walking Dead. We got out of the cop car and made our way up here because there was a girl watching us, so we climbed into her backyard because that's because that's what happens in real life. Little girls look at you and you climb in their backyards. And it also this is how life also works. You you knock on the door and they don't answer. Second time, just walk right in. I mean, that's what I do. Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. I'm one of them. These people might eat wild and hurt it all. <laughs> he just fell over. What? The answering machine. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in. This isn't Sandra. This is Lee. The crazy man bit Clementine's dad. <gasps> oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Oh no. This is how the whole entire epidemic started. Quick, somebody tell me the number for 911. You can call me Daddy Clementine. It's fun. Yeah. Hello? You need to be quiet. You need to be quiet. I'm a grown up. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding again from my parents from home. <laughs> They're dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. It's not anymore. I took a trip too. I, I fell in the blood splatter. Where are you? I'm outside in the house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh god. Damn it, Clee, <coughs> hey, Clee. Uh, I was gonna say Lee and clumsy at the same time because I was gonna say Lee is a clumsy motherfucker, but I said Clee. I will not have sex with you. A A A A A A A A A A X. Boot to the face. Give me that. 
Like Mario. The old school Mario. Yeah, I dislodged your eyeball. Gross. I had to... I had to do that, Clementine. I'm sorry I had to see that. She tried raping me, though. It was the only way. That's what he says. He kills his her babysitter, and he's like, "Hi there." I think so too. Like, if that happened, if I was in Lee's place, I would have killed the babysitter, and I would have been like, "Are you okay?" And that would have been a good, good thing to say. Not hi. What should we do? Let's look for help before it gets dark. So we have daylight on our side. Let's go. Stay close to me. I got a new girlfriend, guys. Her name's Clementine. They were holding hands. Oh, they're not holding hands anymore. They broke up. Probably shouldn't joke about that, considering Lee's like in his 30s or 40s and Clementine's probably like eight. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. Come on, let's walk. Why is he walking that way? I'm, I'm clearly saying go that way. Okay. Oh, there's guys over there. Why did he walk in the opposite direction I tell him to? It's Forrest Gump. I ain't ever been home to Mama at this rate. I love you, Jenny. What's the matter? Should I say? What? I don't want to say what you're trying to say, but I don't, I don't know if I should leave. What if what my parents, parents come home? home? Your parents are dead. How old are you? Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? So I am the guardian of. Clementine, if anybody tries to fuck with her, I'm gonna wreck their shit. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Yeah. Because we're cannibals. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This is a disaster. Because you should shake it. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm shocked. Sean. Sean Sean Green. Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. You shouldn't be having any more buses. How the hell did this thing get away from the team? I don't know how to get here. I don't know where the is from. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Oh, goody dope, please. Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Okay. Should I have just said I'm some guy? I... Eh, I'm taking over as her babysitter, so I, it wasn't a lie. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be protecting her. I'm gonna, Let's go. I'm gonna make sure she gets through this. I'm her babysitter. I didn't lie. All right. Babysitters go? I'd say your parents are you a tip. Just a tip. That'd be cool to get paid for 
surviving a zombie apocalypse. That would look good on a resume too. I worked at McDonald's and I oh, I also survived the zombie apocalypse. Like you would get higher just off of that. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. My mom was gonna be in a snit. Bye, Forrest Gump. Thank God. I was worried it'd be bad for you, too. That's why I was doing that. Don't break him down the way. Harry, that's his gay lover. Well, I'm glad you took him with you. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm just pointing this out for new people. No, I meant he's he's as sweet as candy. Yes. Thank you, Clementine. You just yeah. saved my sweet black ass. Uh, yeah, it's not doing it. I can help you out. Sean, run on in there and check on your sister. Jump on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen. It hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. Yeah. What did you say your name was? I didn't. Well, now's the time. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Hunter Green. Hunter Green. I heard from Green. How'd this happen? Jump at a fist. Right now? Just like everybody else. What type of danger is this? Nothing bad. I just hope she's not I hope this guy doesn't catch on to me. We can just leave it. I don't want him to know I was in a cop car. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name. Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking. First week tomorrow. We gotta lay more defense around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw. That doesn't seem necessary. Oh, I'm a professional bare knuckle boxer. <laughs> Herschel's a badass. Dad, I'm serious. Leave. Come on home. Tell him what you saw. Teenage girl with her guts spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to fight me. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. You know. He said, okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. <laughs> if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do you want me to do? They'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it. And... That's not funny. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you right now. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? I don't know. Oh, I guess that, I guess he gets to answer for me. All right then. I think I tricked him. He just, I don't think he knew I was in the cop car. Mr. 
Lenore. I'm not going to swear in front of a little girl. I miss my mom and dad. I miss your mom and dad too, Clementine. Pretty far. She's my next door neighbor. Some nightmares. It's okay, B. Well, thanks for watching, guys. There's going to be plenty of more Walking Dead when. Um, sorry, the cutscene distracted me. Um, there's going to be plenty of more Walking Dead when I get back. Um. Thanks for watching. This is Double Live Gonzo. Just hit that like button, favorite this video, comment a part you liked, comment a game that you would like to see me play, comment hi, I don't know. Uh, subscribe to Double Live Gonzo and